lovely weekend. We're off to go and play in the mud at the Bristol 4x4 day. So we're in the Defender. What are we going to try? We're going to try some new stuff. First thing, activity watch. So we are driving. We have no keys. We are. So we're all, we're, we're totally reliant on the activity watch and it's no problem so far, is it, George? No. We're driving with it. So you don't need keys with the activity watch. That was one question that came up the other day. Right. Really? It was all looking good, wasn't it? We just stopped for some fuel and um, we're just going onto the motorway now and we restarted the car again. Uh-oh, we've got no Pibby screen. It was all working well. We've got the wireless car play was all going. So we might have to do a little reboot of the Pibby. Right, okay, we come off the motorway now. We're just heading into Bristol. So what have we got? We've tried to do a Pibby Pro reset now. We've got the music playing and we can turn the music on and press the reset button but the music keeps playing so Pivi is not shutting down but the music's playing and that must be part of the Pivi system the interesting thing is that the navigation which is done via Waze via the Entering phone average speed check zone. you can see that's still running but I've lost on the screen we'll make sure I'm not speeding you can see on the screen that I've lost the navigation because I did have the full screen navigation. So the PIVI system is not working. So we've lost the PIVI screen. We've lost that. We've tried the PIVI reset. So it's a bit of a weird combination, but some of it's still working. It's not just the screen that's gone though because I've also lost the maps on here. Anyway, we are going to drive through Bristol and get to the off-road event. We're running a little bit late. But let's let's catch up right we've arrived um we're a little bit late which is not good really we try and be punctual but everything got on top of us this morning right while we're waiting for the guys just to come and collect us let's see if we can reset this pivi pro screen so let's turn it off let's open the door that normally does some sort of reset to it yeah, let's turn it turn it back on again now No, no. no, and it's not just the screen we've lost, we've lost the, but we're going to need the screen poop, aren't we? Yeah. Because we're going to need to do all the configuration. We need to disconnect the, the battery. We might have to do a battery disconnect, which is a bit, I don't know how many tools I've got with me. Or we're going to have to do a lock and leave it for five minutes, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, there's us thinking we've got away with it, George. Well, what can we do? We can do suspension up and down. But that's we pretty... Can't even... well, no, no, we, we, can, we can count how many it is. Well, let's have a look. Let's have a look if it comes up on the screen. Okay. So if we... Mode selection, because it used to come up on the screen. But, but no. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yes, so we're all right. So at least we can do that. Yes, yeah, so we can go Wade. rock crawl. Um, Wade. Rock crawl, sand, muds and ruts. Okay, so, so there we go. We've got some... That's functionality. some functionality. We can't look at all the off-road cameras and stuff, which is a bit of a shame. But yeah, we'll stop in a minute and we'll let it go to sleep properly. Yeah, interesting. What? How stuck are you without a screen? Classic mm. Land Rover. Classic Land Rover. There you go. Right, yeah, a little, little nostalgia touch. Right, let's wait for the guys to turn up. Let's get muddy. Right, whoa. Rocks, 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 rocks. Oh, we're going. Are we going the wrong way around this one? We'll be all right. There's not many. There's not too many people here today, which is good, isn't it? Yeah. So let's go down through the woods under here. Now, one thing we have got on here is we have got the. We have got all the accessories on the back, haven't we, George? So we've got the lunchbox hanging off the side. Yeah. So we're going to actually do some testing and see how scratched up they get and how. I don't think they've got. Oh, I know. You know what's happened, don't you? Oh, no. Because we've turned it on and off again. Yeah, mud. So yeah, that's really annoying. That is, we've mentioned this before. Every time you just stop to talk to someone, I've got no idea which way my steering's pointing. We need to get that visual. Oh, there we go. We I'm can on, see on there. Can go to camera off road. There you go. Right, and which way is the, the wheels pointing? There we go. 
because it's just heading towards that rock, those trees there. There we go. We've done it. Whoa. That is, all right, let's go down here. We've got to get the GoPros on in a minute. So I should have the, whoa. Oh. Oh. That wasn't, it is slippy out here today. All right, we'll have a little play and then we'll get the, so what is my, I should be on hill descent control. So I should just take my feet off. That's the safest way and let the car do it. Yeah. Right. There we go. Right. Oh, this is some pretty fierce bumps here. I right. need to be a bit careful. Right. Oh. It's done it, it's done it, it's right, done let's it. Get let's get some GoPros on. Let's pull up out of the way. Yeah. Right, one thing we're trying, we're just setting the GoPros up, is we've actually going to show one new product we have designed and are launching soon is a full checker plate mirror cover with a GoPro mount. And we're going to do it in two options. We've got it with a GoPro mount, and we've also got it without the GoPro mount, as you can see there so it's got the checker plate but it's a full mirror cover the land rover one only does this sort of out a bit where this wraps round underneath it doesn't cover the camera it goes around the camera so we've got that as well what else have we got we'll see how our side steps do our side steps should although they limit ground clearance they might help us george because they might if we get close to something sort of deflect it off the bodywork a bit like rock sliders we'll see how they how they hang up but everything else is looking okay. So we all GoPro'd up, George? Yep. Right, let's go on. And then we'll try and get some footage from outside. So we're just gonna have a play inside the car first, and then George will get out and take some footage so that you can see what it looks like outside. Whoa, this is new. Dash cam saying we've been in a collision. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, is that what it's done? Yeah. Right, now this is where we have got stuck before now. Oh. Oh. Oh, hold on, we might have got stuck again. We've gone across the ruts. Oh no. Uh -uh. Right, let's have a go. Right, we've gone across the ruts, which we did last time, right? Now, we had a couple of tricks up our sleeve, George, didn't we? We have got low traction launch, haven't we? I'm gonna get out. Or we could, yeah and see where it's spinning. You get yeah. out and see where it's spinning. Right, let's have a, let's have a go with low traction launch, shall we, George? Can you remember how to do low traction launch? Yeah, so it's the, if you press the home button and you, there you go. All right. you scroll down. Low traction launch, yeah. yeah. All right, let's have a go. Right, it says vehicle stationary, foot off accelerator, muds terrains activated, off-road or descent control. Right, here we go, let's have a go. Um, we're stuck then, aren't we? Yeah, we're stuck. We're... Right, let's have a think what else we can do. We could let the tyre pressures down. Should we try that? Let's do it. Let's do it, right. Right, here we go. So we'll, we'll get the engine running in a minute if we're... But we shouldn't be using too much of the compressor because we're letting 
the air pressure down. So which one was spinning, George? Right, so if you come here, George, I'll show you. So we, we set the dial on here. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. So we'll set that to 18, okay? And then if we press it to dial that in, it does a little display. And then if I connect this onto the tire, now this connector's, we, it's gonna not be so good off-road because you've got to screw it on and it's muddy. We'd be better one that just clipped on. But if I put that on now, let's have a look. All right, and then it should lower the tire pressure. If we go and look at the display in there, we should. It's lowering it down, letting all the air out. Right, we've let the tires down on all corners. So let's see if tire pressure makes a difference. Oh, it's a bit better. Ah. Yeah, so there we go. So we've proved there that letting your tires down is a simple and that compressor's worth the money. It's a lot of money, but if you're stuck, that's got you out of trouble, hasn't it? Um, so there we go. Thank you very much for offering to tow us out. But there we go. Let's get back in and do some more driving. Not needed. Brilliant. Compressor, thumbs up. Thanks, George, for filming that. But yeah, just driving around the loop there with you out the car, George, with those lower tire pressures, it's bouncing less. It's less bouncy. It's more controlled. I mean, and that really saved the day. I'm really the great thing about these four by four days is you can learn stuff. They'll tow you out if you're stuck. You can play with your compressor, your tire pressures, your techniques, your controls, your low traction launch. Like a state of me. Um, yeah, it's it's really good, and then get more confident and know your car better, which has got to be safer at the end of the day. Right, let's drive on. Right, we're going to go up here? Yeah, we're going to go up here. Come on. Oh. Yeah, that Land Rover dash cam. Must be trampled right in the way. Whoa, that, oh, that, that is so, so much, much better. better. That is, Honestly. that is game changer, isn't that, it? That's got those the most new, significant change. Those wheels car. and tires, those new tires and the lower tire pressure, because we struggled up that. that if you the watched the first set. one, that is brilliant. Um, yeah, I mean, and it's really clay, this soil, because there's mud and mud. I don't want to become like a geological expert here, but this is really clay. You look at the bottom of George's feet, it's absolutely caked in stuff. Actually, it doesn't look too bad now. <laughs> those, <laughs> yeah. those side steps were handy for scraping off. Right, we're going to go and have a bit more play. <laughs> Just try a slow one. So we'll just try slow and control with rock crawl on. No. Right, I think 
I mean. All right, I'm going to try that again, and I'm going to try in my dynamic stability control off. Okay, so we've got dynamic stability control off. Oh, let's go forwards. All right then. So the same sort of speed, but with dynamic stability control. No. Right. Yes, we did it. Right, it's doing well, it's getting all muddy. We haven't damaged anything, but George has just spotted the old Velcro that holds this sort of cosmetic cover on has come a bit loose, hasn't it? And I don't know, that should. guess that's it um we'll have a look when we've washed it off it felt like it was hitting on the side step brackets a couple of times didn't it yeah but generally it's doing all right it's amazing <laughs> it is like a special quality of my oh look, you can't see my blues hubcap now um how's the how are our accessory boxes doing it looks it's not looking too scratched is it no i think we'll get it all washed again but hopefully what we're going to try and show is that the fender you can drive it around town you can polish it up it looks great you can take it off road and with the arches and the other bits and pieces hopefully it'll clean up and look as good as new again we'll see i think it will it will although i think i might leave it like this for a few days yeah i'm done right let's have a break <laughs> sidestep. I might need to reduce my all-terrain progress controls a bit slower. That felt Seven. very easy. Felt very easy. And those softer tyres are pretty good, aren't they? Yeah. Right. Now, what we could do, George, is if we select wading mode here, it will shut the flaps at the front. So if we go on ooh, ooh. wade, wade. mode, then what it'll do is it's got those flaps in the yeah. front grille and it will close them because why it does that is to stop debris in the water going through your radiator, which will mean we've got less cleaning, or Harry's got less cleaning to do on, uh, I would say Monday, but it's bank holiday on Tuesday. All right, let's have a look, George. Let's have a look how, how wet the old sheep dip is doing. Whoa. 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 We are getting, we 
I'm getting. We're hitting I'm something. Hitting something on that back corner, aren't we? Yeah. It? We'll have a look later. Mm. What? So we're not in low ratio, in high ratio. It just seems to pick too low a gear in low ratio for my liking. Uh, am I on the right? Ah, does this track go around and do those, it does those wobbles, doesn't it? I think so. Yeah. So if we follow this track round here. Yeah, that's those sleepers that Rory was doing with us last time. Ooh. Not down there. It's so good. It's so good. Honestly. Lowering those, lowering the pressure. The pressure is honestly, game yeah. Yeah. That compressor is so worth it. Let's have a look what's going on here. Oh, they got the old pathfinder stuck. What have they got stuck in there then, are they? All right, let's get out and have a look. Take them to come out. But this bit is alright, but it's the top. Go on. Go on. Go on, keep it going. Now I can feel it sucking the power. The amount this car goes up and down is just incredible. It's just nuts. Whoa. What a car. What a car. It's just... Today, this is just a game changer, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, honestly, and... it feels so different. Right. Right, we're going back now, and we just got the trouble was I had to find the, find the valve. Where the valve is, it picked up loads of mud, so I've had to, like, carve the... Find out. Obviously, I've just taken the caps off, but yeah, you want to make sure if you're going off road and you keep your your valve caps on. So we connect that up. The compressor should sense it. We should hear it go. Is it going? It may have timed out. Timed out. Yeah. There you go. It should. It should be back. There you there go. There you go. Thirty-five. Dialed it in. Let's start now. There we go, pumping it up. But yeah, come on, have a look at this wheel here. This wheel was ridiculous. <laughs> Mount of dirt that I had to carve out of the rim just to find where the valve, the valve was. There he is. So I'll get my valve caps put on. Oh look, look, we've got a snail, George. He's coming along for the ride. We're going to see how far he gets. There we go. But yeah, we go. We got it pretty messy. We've had a good day out. We've done every challenge now. So tyres, brilliant, 18 inch wheels, brilliant. Compressor, reducing the tyre pressures. Yeah, so we're, we're there now, we've conquered everything now. We're ready to find more challenges. So there you go, thanks for joining us. Hope you all learned something from that and we'll catch you next time.
Right. Well, right, one thing we're gonna do for the boys, they wanna try us going up a slippy slope, George. So less, they want it in low ratio, right? So let's go in low ratio. And um, we've got a select neutral. Why can't I, I'm, I'm struggling with this selecting neutral. Because if I go like that, it goes, if I go like that. And it's when you're on a I think it's when it's slope. on a slope. It doesn't like it, does it? Let me see if I put the handbrake on. All right, we've got the handbrake on. Let me try, ah, oh, that's it, yeah. So, right, if you get stuck with that, put the handbrake on, it, it's happy with that. So we're in low ratio now. And what they want us to do, George, is turn stability control off. And the, the logic's kind of perverse because it's lit up for off where. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, so we, we should be able to now go up this slope and we want to try and get it spinning. And people are saying it, you feel it putting the brakes on and the, the stability control, because the stability control normally, if you're drifting or sliding, it starts to break the rear corner to pull you back. But if you're trying to get up a slippery slope, the last thing you want is it trying to break something to sort of, you just want to get up the slippy slope. Um, so let's see if it does it. So we're just gonna, so we'll take it, we won't go for too much momentum because we want to try and induce this slip. Um, let me, let me go up, let me just go up on the shift a bit. We're in, there we go, let's try it. All right, so we're in low ratio. Right, watch that stability control light as well. Okay. And we'll just see what happens if we try to go up in a nice controlled manner. Super slow, no momentum, which is not, it's probably going to be a fail, but we'll see. Look at that, it just... Even I mean, with no momentum. Even with no momentum, it just goes up like... And we uh, really struggled with that last time. That is just... So yeah, I can't... Sorry, sorry, uh, Steve. I'm trying to test this, this the um, dynamic stability control off-road effect out, but I, I can't find anywhere slippy enough. But we'll keep going. 